this is quite a big undertaking. Everyone's going to be in your business. You're going to be dating a lot of different types of people from different places. What has been the final straw? What's brought you guys to a dating show? Is this your last roll of the dice for happiness? Yeah. Or are you just like fed just... up of basic people you've I'm, met already? With me, I feel like I just don't trust my own judgment anymore. Like, mm -hmm. I always pick the wrong guys. And I feel like this way, other people are doing the choosing for us. So where can I go wrong? Everyone's got a better judgment than me. For me, it was just like, you know what? I want to kind of get out there, see girls from different countries. You know what I mean? Instead of just the same Broadening people. Broadening horizons. Yeah, just obviously it's more choice. You know what I mean? You're not just in the UK. Like, you're all over the game. You're just yeah. greedy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm just greedy. No, well, all I liked about it was I liked the concept of the show that it was the whole new concept. It wasn't like all the other shows because we've been approached by loads of different shows and other dating shows. But when this yeah. one came around, it had a different flavor and a different angle. I want to be a part of it. What could be the worst thing that happens to you on this show? I mean, there's a lot of, um, there's going to be a lot of control given to the audience. I mean, that could lead to some nightmare situations, some nightmare dating. Well, I mean, the worst thing that could happen is like, say we go on like a bungee jumping date. <laughs> And we all die. <laughs> oh my god! I mean, that's the Please very, don't say that. Well, that's you asked tragic. what the worst is. I'm giving yeah. him the worst option. But okay. then, f further back from that, it'd be like something embarrassing that's then yeah, on TV yeah. as well. Another side question for John and Edward, guys. I know what all the girls are thinking out there. Do you guys come as a package? I mean, no. are you looking for two separate girls, the same girl to share? Like, how's that going to work? That's, yeah. Yeah. that's our problem: is that everyone sees us as a whole. But I think it's great that I'm going on my own journey. John's going on his journey. Yeah. And then we're each going to like find and it's good for the cool. viewer watching to see because everyone knows our career and where we've come from. It's a new chapter for us. But um, yeah, yeah also we're, not we're not those stars that use our personal life to get on in like our career. This like is like people like this actually like the first time we've ever been like documented talking yeah. about like personal stuff. And it's nice. I feel good expressing and talking about like dating and feelings and whatever. Feelings yeah, because like we've always had to be like single for all our fans. Like they're always like, I can have a chance with Edward. I can have a chance with John. Some but fans are like, Edward, you have to remain you. you they all think change. I'm so innocent. What is what is the perfect person? What is the perfect date uh, that can be the outcome of this show for you guys? I mean, my perfect man, we just all talked about yeah. our perfect ideal. Um, mine would just be an awesome, amazing guy who can make more money than me um, and also is family friendly and just take care of his own and be impressive and intellectually smart. So that's just what I look for. Not many people have that. And how about you? <laughs> um, I'd just say a girl who is girl. attractive, funny, and kind. Yeah. That's good. Courtney, an interesting thing for you is that um, you've got to find somebody who, who you know, is into Courtney, but also into Shane at the same time. Yeah, I mean, you know what? For years I was barking up the wrong tree, looking for the wrong kind of guy, and now I've realised there is a whole world of guys out there that are attracted to men and women and everything in between, and so I'm excited to really cultivate the entire world to get laid. No, find love. <laughs> find love. Amoni, um, if if it was left to the audience and there was some like big poll and you ended up on a date with one of the guys from Geordie Shore again, would you would you oh. pack it in at that stage? Yeah, like I feel like I've had enough experience with the boys. It's definitely gonna go nowhere. So I'm excited about meeting some new boys to play with. And I heard that you were kind of you were open. You were open to everything in yeah. this in this show. That's a new thing. Well, I just feel like like dating and love and relationships. It doesn't like. People can be in love with someone. It doesn't really matter, like if they're a girl or boy. Like it, if you're in love with someone, it doesn't matter, like what genitals they've got. Do you know what I mean? So I'm open to girls and boys. Well, it's going to be an interesting journey. I'm looking forward to seeing what happens, guys. The best of British to all of you. I'll yeah, see you soon. Thank you. Nice one. Oh my God! Sorry. Hey. Zane's got a, a, a great voice. Oh. I'll just leave it at that. I've wanted to meet you. Oh, uh, we haven't met each other yet. Got some lipstick on your teeth.